Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Anita. Welcome. If you're new, I'm glad to have you here. And I thought today with my check-in, I would talk a little bit of a little bit about my system and how I like to use it. So I'm going to start off with my spending, and these are the transactions that I had for the week. So I'm going to start with personal and the way i got into using the highlighter method was from the budget mom i originally wanted to get her budget book but it was always sold out when i was ready to purchase it so i eventually just settled into the erin condren monthly because it had pages uh, that i could just use stickers to make it prettier and you know make it all nice looking so it's gonna be 30 94 then I have eating out so as I settled into using my Erin Condren I discovered Sarah Marie and Sarah Marie has a YouTube channel and she also has a sticker shop so I purchased all of my stickers from her last year all of these sticker kits I used to purchase them from her she would always sell like a bundle for like the month and I just love them. They were super cute. I always like to use them. So that's going to be twenty nine twenty six. Then I have allowance, which is always $70. So I did that for last year, but I had originally used a bigger book, the 11 by 9, I think it is now i'm using a seven by nine which is way better because uh as you guys know i'm debt free so i do i do not have any debt you know and i needed less space so definitely this one works better for me and i do make the stickers myself and i just love how it changes i just love how it changes the page you know like one sticker just completely changes everything so it just looks super beautiful so now I have a seven by nine smaller. Let me see, household was 32.63. And that's what I've been using for a little over a year because I did it last year and this year. So yeah, a year and a half. And I just love doing the highlighter method and tracking my expenses like this, knowing where my money is going because it is very important when trying to get out of debt to know where your money is going because if you're just spending and you don't know where your money is going then you can't know what you need or what you really don't need so definitely this system helped me get out of debt and i continue to use it because i want to stay debt free you know i don't want to because it's not like you can't go back into that. Of course you can. I just, you know, I want to track my expenses and make sure I'm sticking to my budget, my allowances and all of that. So definitely continue to use it. Then I have nothing for extra. Then I have food. And I know there's a lot of different ways to track your expenses. I know some people do it in the calendar view where they have, um, you know, little stickers and stuff. I don't like that because I feel that um, I would fill it up way too fast. So I'm like, I like to do it like this and I like to see it better like this. But there's a lot of different ways you can uh, start tracking your expenses. And obviously you don't need to have all of this stuff. Because I remember when I started, I had like just a plain old notebook. I didn't have anything else. I have two for gas. I have this one. It was just a notebook. I even drew the calendar myself. It's like way, way back, like over a year ago. Um, that's before I even invested into uh, an Erin Condor because they are a little bit pricey, but definitely worth it because the quality is super, super so good. I track my expenses on this sheet and then I come over to my weekly check in which is this is the second week over here you guys can see my first week and this is the second week i come here and i input my totals because it's just way easier at the end of the month because i just pull the totals and i am done with my budget so we said it was 30 94 29 26 70 dollars 32 63 
$23.82, $126, nothing for extra, $128.50, $197.79, and pets, nothing. So if I add all of these so up, $526.13, which is very good. So then I have it like that. So at the end of the month, I can just fill it in like this. And this is the way I like to set up my budget. And I just think visually it's better for me to have everything down and set like this. So that's one of the reasons why I still use pen and paper because I just, I can't change my system. I just think that this system works so well and why are you going to change something that's not broken that's my thinking so now i have my cash stuffing and let me count this out for you guys i have 60 80 100 40 60 80 100 so three 200 one two three four five three hundred 320 10 20 30 40 50 so 370 is what i'm going to be stuffing in my wallet my cash wallet and that's one of the reasons why i do cash also because that's what helped me um, get out of debt and it's helping me stay out of debt and this system i did um use kind of like the dave ramsey style i kind of pick and choose what i like from every person because i feel that not everything works for us you know so then you pick and choose and definitely this has helped me in the beginning was really hard to get used to using cash but now it's just second nature so groceries gets 125 20 40 60 80 120 125 and I'm thinking I'm gonna be missing five dollars over here so 125 for groceries and definitely also when I started off I just had like simple envelopes they were not even laminated I think but just start off if you really want to do it start off with whatever you have and really that's what's gonna help you to so just get started household gets 30 and then sometimes we feel overwhelmed because we see like other people, you know, and everything that they do and everything that they have. But you have to think about that. Everything that I have and everything that I use, I didn't just buy like, you know, all of it in one one sitting. I have accumulated things over time. And, you know, I always use my budget and my allowance to accommodate that because you don't want to go into debt trying to get out of debt. Like you don't want to be buying all these things because they're not necessities to get out of debt you know just start with what you have you don't have to you know buy everything at once like if you do want to buy something you know buy one thing that you really want like me i remember the first expensive thing that i bought when i was still in debt was my budget wallet my original wallet the filofax that was like 60 bucks or was it 80 i think it was 80 bucks but what i did was I had all my friends and family members sign up for the Fetch Reward app. Some of them love them. Some of them don't use it. But I was able to get, you know, points from my friends and family. And I was able to purchase that with my Fetch points. I always leave a link down below if you want to use my code, you know, to sign up. You just scan your receipts. You're going to throw your receipts away anyway. So might as well scan and get some points. And that's how I was able to buy my first item because I did not want to pay $80 out of pocket. Gas gets 100 so 40 60 80 100 And I think you just have to be creative in the way that you go about things. Sometimes just use what you have. That's what helps a lot of the times. Um, personal gets 30 Like these envelopes I made myself with... I don't know if you can tell, but they are flashcards so i don't know if you can see the lines back here only if you get up close you can tell they're flashcards but the back is plain you know i don't want to go out and buy like card stock white card stock so i'm like i have a bunch of flashcards let me use that 
So I used flashcards, washi, and I already had the laminating sheets and the laminator. So I have dining out, which is 30. So definitely just get started, track your expenses, just like a regular notebook, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be fancy, as long as you get started, because if you don't get started, you're never gonna get anywhere. So family gets 30. And don't feel overwhelmed also, like people have a bunch of categories, no, do what works for you. I remember when I started, I didn't even have all these categories, I had like three categories. I had three envelopes. That's all I needed, that's all I had. Because I didn't have a lot of money that I, you know, extra that I could budget. Everything was going to my debt. So pet care also gets 30. Did I forget a category? Yes, I did. Of course, fun. Let me get my... I thought I had enough money. I guess I'm going to owe it $5. So fun gets 25 So yeah, definitely if you want to get started with your journey you know just get started that's the hardest thing i feel sometimes to actually get started and do the work i hope you guys have been enjoying my videos if you have please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one bye